What's up y'all? I wanted to do a quick unboxing today. Um, this is, you can see from the title, these are Emerson knives. Um, so I kind of got bit by the Emerson bug. Um, I've had a, a tactical Quaken and a mini A100 in the past. And um, I liked them, but for some reason they didn't stick around. And I, you know, I was thinking I was, um, of all the knives that are being made now out of China, just they look like they're all the same to me. Ball bearings, titanium, Chinese knives, like, they're not unique. Um, I mean, like, they all feature the same, the same kind of, I don't know, form factor. So, uh, the Emerson really kind of stood out to me as I started looking, looking back at them. Like, they have great designs. And also, I totally agree with their concept of use, like hard use. They're one of the only brands that are still doing uh, nylon washers. And that's another thing. I think I saw a Sharp Thinking's um, video. I'll link to it. But he's basically was talking about how he's using his knives um, in the construction construction business. And the nylon washers are just like perfect because they do not... Um, they're, they're not affected by dirt or anything like that, so that's that appeals to me. Uh, the durability of, of the knives is something that's important to me. So, Emerson is one of the only, only knives around uh, that are doing that. Uh, Hinder has some, you can, you can sub in some uh, Teflon washers, which is cool. But I don't know which one. I know I ordered, f I ended up ordering four Emersons. So, um, one good thing too, he does a military discount. So, that's awesome. So, I'm not going to look at the side. I'm just going to see which one it is. I don't know which one this is yet. All right, this is a cool one. This is the Commander. So, I've never had a Commander, so I wanted to order that. And I got it in the the gray G10 with the American flag etched. It has uh, standoffs or, or silver standoffs. Pretty cool clip. Um, there are deep carry clips for these, so that's that's good. But yeah, let's give it a. I didn't even check. Yeah, it's pretty good, centered. Um, all right, let's, whoops. Wow. I've never, like I said, I've never hold, held a commander. And just right off the bat, this is very, very comfortable in hand. There's that chisel ground blade. Emerson commander. Um, let's check the, I got a piece of paper right here. Sharpness. Wow, very sharp. Lock up. Very good. I didn't feel any lock stick. Try to deploy it again. Oh yeah. Wow. Man. I'm thinking I'm gonna have an Emerson problem here soon. And let's see if I can front flip. Wow, that is awesome. I'm so, so happy with that. Yeah, this is very impressed with this one. Wow. All right, so I think I know which one this is because I ordered these two at the same time. So yeah, this is the CQC 13. This actually reminded me kind of of the... Uh, the handle reminded me of the Manix 2 XL. So let's check it. 
good centering. They say the um, the G10 on the these the different color ones are thicker, but I can't really tell that much. Wow. And again, the ergos are just great. Here's my number. Check. Check the edge. Yep. Lock up. Perfect. No lock stick. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Oh man, this this has really good action. Let's see if I can front flip. Wow. Man. <laughs> I am no less impressed with this than I am with this one. All right. So now, crack open the next box here. Yeah, I can tell um, it's going to be an Emerson uh, wave coming in my future. Because those are very, very good done. Uh, very good quality. So, this one is, or these two, I know what these two are now. Since I know what the other ones were. And I mentioned I had the Tactical Quaken and the A1 Mini A100 before, so I rebought the I rebought the Tactical Quaken because I really liked it before. Perfectly centered, and this one is just awesome. Good deployment, good lockup no lock stick and th this is one i think when i had before it had lock stick so this that's awesome to, to see there's no lock stick but yeah there it is check for sharpness they're doing something right over there at, at, over at emerson this one, when I got it the first time, I was just very impressed with the grind lines, and that secondary bevel is the same awesomeness. Like, if you look at a Spyderco or anything like that, the secondary bevel is all over the place. But these seem to be consistent and even. Yeah, look at that. Perfect secondary bevel. This, this action, is, I think, is the best. And I think I've seen a sticker in here. Wow. I don't remember getting stickers before. That is cool. That is really cool. Yeah, I don't think I got stickers last time. All right. And the final one is the full-size A100. So I've never had a full-size. I've had the Mini before, but never the full-size. Perfectly centered. Awesome clip. Awesome deployment. Good lockup. That's a little later than I was hoping. And there's a little lock stick on that. This is the only one. Yeah. This is the only the only one that has that good front flipping. Now, because it's kind of like a later lockup, I'm hoping that it doesn't wear in and go even further this way, but we'll see. There's there's tricks to get lockstick to cooperate, but it is very smooth. Um, yeah, the lockstick is just the, bad, the worst out of the other ones. I can't... Can't ring finger flip it yet. Yeah. I think it needs a bigger disc to um to get it on the middle finger flick. 
so maybe one that elevates up like they have those uh 45 caliber thumb this very good lines or very good grinds perfectly sharp yep so let me do some uh, pencil lead real quick and I'll come back and see if that how it feels um, with that all right I put some pencil um, pencils shaving or pencil lead on it uh, still all right let me try some permanent marker hold on one second all right, there's some permanent marker on here. Now this is just temporary. Yeah, it, it that made it better. But as the permanent marker wears away, the lock stick will come back um, unless it breaks in. Um, but yeah, it feels good now. So yeah, I think that will break in and I don't think it will be a problem. So I'm very happy with all, with all of these. Um, it's definitely going to be a an Emerson uh, an Emerson type of year, uh, or at least re rest of the year. Um, yep, very happy with these. This one is probably the most stiff but again these will break in um, this one ergos are amazing wow they're good and then this the CQC 13 is the smoothest and probably second second best ergos and that's really good that is so good wow yeah, the action on this is amazing. Wow. This is this is my I think this is my favorite so far. <laughs> this one is great too. That is just a awesome recurve. All right, y'all, comment below which one which model you think I should get next. All right, I'll see you on the next one.